Hi there. Today, we're embarking on a captivating journey as we step back in time to explore the legendary TV series, The Benny Hill Show. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. The Benny Hill Show is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting the series with the entire cast, then and now. We'll uncover the original identities and ages of the talented actors from the show and witness how they've transformed in 2023. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of The Benny Hill Show. Number 1. Benny Hill The first British comedian to attain fame through television, Benny Hill was a major star for over 40 years. Indeed, he was one of the most popular comedians Britain has ever produced, not only in this country but also worldwide, with his television shows having been sold to at least 109 countries. Famed now for his bawdy, naughty boy seaside postcard humor, Hill was one of the cleverest and most innovative comedians working in television in the 1950s and 1960s, the saucy sketches seemingly decorated with acres of scantily clad young women, for which he is mainly remembered, came later. Their preponderance in his shows eventually led to Hill becoming an unworthy victim of political correctness. The Benny Hill show was to see Hill's brand of comedy attain near perfection. Mimed sketches, influenced by Hill's love of silent comedy, were a major element, and many of his famous comic characters, including Fred Scuttle, took their bows in the shows. Hill's innuendo-laden comic songs also became a notable element. The show was notable, above all, for Hill's parodies of television shows, genres, and personalities. In this, Hill fully exploited the new possibilities of television special effects technology, allowing him to appear simultaneously in a wide variety of roles in the same sketch. Hill was rewarded with the 1965 BBC Personality of the Year Award. It is the shows that Hill made for Thames between 1969 and 1989, again just called The Benny Hill Show, and all now scripted by Hill alone, that have become embedded in the public's consciousness as representative of his humor. The style of Hill's comedy was initially a little different from that of his BBC years, but the emphasis on sexual innuendo, coupled with the use of buxom young women, became more pronounced as the years wore on. The introduction of leggy, suspender-adorned dance troupe, Hill's Angels, in 1980, only reinforced the impression that Hill was mutating from a naughty boy into a dirty old man. Throughout his years at Thames, Hill was to venture away from the successful format of these shows only once. This was with the dialogue-free, comparatively gentle half-hour comedy Eddie in August, which, disappointingly for Hill, encountered a muted reception from viewers and critics alike. In 1971, he had a surprise Christmas number one hit with his single Ernie, the fastest milkman in the West. Despite achieving worldwide fame, including in America with the Thames shows, Hill was ignominiously dropped by that company in 1989, owing to the perceived outdatedness of his comedy. He was never to work on television again. Benny Hill played this role when he was 45 years old. Sadly, Hill died from a heart attack at the age of 68 on April 18, 1992, in Teddington, London. Number 2. Henry McGee Henry McGee, with his good-humored face and expressive thin lips, exuding a sense of impending comedy, played the straight man to some of the most celebrated British comedians from the 1950s to the turn of the century. Despite expressing that his sole ambition was to be an old actor, McGee's amiable nature facilitated collaborations with comedians who commanded their own shows and might not have welcomed potential rivals. However, McGee was a reliable performer in his own right. In 2002, at the age of 73, he joined the Ray Cooney Comedy Company, showcasing his acting skills in productions like Run For Your Wife and Funny Money, on a P&O Caribbean cruise. During the same year, he toured with the Cooney farce Caught in the Net, 
which received a nomination for an Olivier Award as the best comedy. He also received the Professional Achievement Award from the Harvard Business School African American Alumni Association and was recognized by Black Enterprise as one of the 50 most powerful African Americans in the entertainment business. In 2018, the National Association of Corporate Directors honored McGee as one of the 100 most influential people in the boardroom community. McGee and his wife, Celia, share one daughter named Honor. Henry McGee played this role when he was 41 years old. Sadly, he died of Alzheimer's disease at the age of 77 in London. Number 3. Jackie Wright Born in Belfast, Jackie Wright was the eighth of 12 children to George and Agnes, nay Finlay, Wright. He initially worked as a car body assembler, even having a stint in the United States working for Cadillac. In the early 1930s, amidst the Great Depression, Wright returned to Belfast and transitioned to the entertainment industry, initially as a musician and later as a supporting comedian. His television career began in the 1960s, when Benny Hill discovered him and convinced him to join his troupe. During this period, Hill was concluding his tenure with the BBC and embarking on a 20-year collaboration with Thames Television. Hill affectionately referred to Wright as Little Jackie or Our Little Donny Osmond on the program. One of the show's notable features was its trademark accelerated motion scenes, where Hill would frequently pat Wright's bald head rapidly, accompanied by dubbed-in smacking sounds. Susie Mandel, an actress, disclosed that Jackie Wright was a chain smoker, often concealing his cigarette in his mouth or behind his back during scenes. In fact, you could often see a little plume of smoke rising behind him if you looked closely enough. Benny would slap his head to fan the smoke away. Wright also made appearances on the short-lived 1973 program Whoops Baghdad, starring Frankie Howard, and had a minor role in the 1975 musical comedy film Three for All. He garnered a cult following when condensed versions of the Benny Hill programs started airing in syndication in the U.S. in the late 1970s. Jackie Wright played the role when he was 65 years old. Sadly, he died at the age of 84 in a Belfast hospital after battling a long, undisclosed illness in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Number 4. Bob Todd Bob Todd played a diverse array of recurring characters on The Benny Hill Show, often portraying a proper gentleman, a woman in drag, various religious figures, and intoxicated individuals. Ironically, Todd struggled with a recurring drinking problem off-screen, even missing a London Palladium show due to excessive drinking and awakening in a Dublin hospital five days later. Benny Hill, the show's host, subsequently removed Todd from the cast. During Todd's absence, his roles were temporarily filled by Eddie Buchanan and Cyril Cross. In 1980, producer Dennis Kirkland persuaded Hill to rehire Todd after a lengthy hiatus. Following his return, Todd exerted better control over his drinking, ensuring it didn't interfere with his work, although he never completely gave it up. Throughout the remaining duration of the series, he remained a prominent member of the cast, alongside Benny Hill, Jack Wright, Henry McGee, John John Keefe, Louise English, Sue Upton, and a group of Hill's Angels. After the cancellation of The Benny Hill Show in 1998, Todd collaborated once again with Benny Hill on Benny Hill's World Tour New York, filming interior scenes for a pilot of a prospective new series with the original cast. Unfortunately, the new series never materialized after Benny's passing in April 1992. Todd, unable to attend Benny's funeral, raised a toast in his memory at a British pub. He himself passed away six months later, on October 21, 1992, survived by his wife Monica, daughter, and two sons. Bob Todd played the role when he was 65 years old. Sadly, he died of unknown cause, six months after Benny Hill did, at the age of 70 in Sussex.
Number 5. John John Keefe As an adult, he took the name John John Keefe from a boy he knew in school as his professional name. He had a starring role at the Talk of the Town nightclub in London's Leicester Square. In 1983, Benny Hill was in attendance at one of his shows and liked his voice so much, he passed Keefe a note offering him a place on his show without an audition. Although he hedged on the offer for a few days, he finally called Benny and ended up becoming one of Benny's top cast members on the series. Starting out as a dancer, Keefe was with the series for 19 years, later describing in his book, I Was Benny Hill's Toy Boy, the close family relationship of the stars of the show. While working on the show, he was still singing at night. And after the show ended, he became an impresario at North London's most famous nightclub, the Starlight Room in Enfield, where he booked the acts with some of the biggest stars in the industry, such as Tony Bennett, Billy Eckstein, Tommy Cooper, Bob Monkhouse, and Jack Jones. His time on the show was briefly cut short because of a casting agent, but when Dennis Kirkland joined in 1985, he and Benny invited him back. John John's closest friends on the show were Dennis and Bob Todd. Although Benny was a loyal friend, he was mostly often busy writing new material. During his run on the show, John John performed as both a singer and sketch performer, playing a lot of good-looking male roles, possibly becoming best known for playing the gay caballero. After the show ended, he approached both Benny and Dennis about privately recreating the series under their own production company, but their plans were waylaid by Dan Taffner's plans to create a series that later became Benny Hill's world tour, New York. Today, he is currently married with three kids. His memoir, I Was Benny Hill's Toy Boy, was published in 2009. John John Keefe played the role when he was 41 years old. John John Keefe died from a natural cause at the age of 80. Number 6. Ken Said Ken Said was an English actor and stuntman, perhaps best recognized for his collaboration with Benny Hill on The Benny Hill Show. Born as Kenneth Seddington on October 26, 1939, he initially worked as a stuntman on productions such as The Sweeney and took on acting roles in minor parts for TV shows like Adam Adamant Lives and Softly Softly. It was during the years of Benny Hill's TV series at the BBC that he crossed paths with Benny Hill, marking the beginning of their professional association. For 25 years, said stunt doubled or stood in for Benny Hill in his movies and TV show at Thames TV, particularly in scenes where Benny played one or more characters. He later started appearing as a sketch player in his own right, often playing several characters in one sketch. Among his roles, he has played a tavern owner, photographer, and victim of a fire in the Lower Tidmarsh Volunteer Fire Brigade, a racer, and a hitchhiker in the Grand Wheelchair Rally, a criminal and a patient in a Wonder Grand sketch, and an anopined boyfriend in Stupid Cupid. In later years, his interest in UFOs and sci-fi led him into becoming a director of the International UFO Congress. His other love was athletics, and he ended up coaching A.D. Maid to the 1984 Olympic 200 meter final, where Aid became the youngest to ever to run in that race at 17, still a record today and something of which he was very proud. Ken Said played the role when he was 41 years old. Sadly, Ken suffered from Parkinson's disease in his final years, and he passed away on January 9, 2021. He is survived by his devoted wife, three children, and five grandchildren, all of whom are immensely proud of his career and the great things he accomplished in his life. He was 81 years old, number seven, Louise English. Louise English is an English actress, singer, dancer, and model, best recognized for her prominent role as a cast member and performer on The Benny Hill Show from 1978 to 1986, as one of the Hills Angels, she actively participated in and starred in numerous sketches, establishing herself as one of the series' most popular stars, second only to Sue Upton, who played a pivotal role in founding the Angels. While Louise English's contributions to The Benny Hill Show are well-remembered, 
There is limited information available about her life before her involvement in the show. In contemporary times, English primarily engages in performances in cabarets and on stage, with minimal television appearances. Her theatrical credits span from pantomime to Bournemouth Pier farce, alongside Robin Asquith and John Inman. Benny Hill visited her briefly during her starring role in Me and My Girl in London's West End shortly before his passing. Presently, Louise English has largely withdrawn from the public eye, focusing on her work. Her official fan site is relatively inactive. She occasionally reunites with Sue Upton, a close friend, during retrospectives and interviews about The Benny Hill Show. Louise English played the role when she was 16 years old, and now she is 61 years old. Number 8. Bella Emberg Bella Emberg, the comedic gem of British television, graced the screens with her talent on iconic shows like The Benny Hill Show and The Russ Abbott Show, where she brought Blunder Woman to life. Her presence extended beyond comedy, with roles in Softly Softly and Z Cars, showcasing her versatility. Even in smaller roles, such as The Cleaner in Grange Hill, Bella left an indelible mark. A British comedy actress with a knack for bringing laughter to every corner of the television landscape, her diverse career spans a guest appearance on The Basil Brush Show and three roles in the Doctor Who serial. Remarkably, she is one of 31 performers to have acted in both the 20th and 21st century Doctor Who TV series. In the modern era, she featured in films such as Bear Behaving Badly in 2007, Fuel in 2002, and History of the World Part 1 alongside Mel Brooks in 1981. Notably, she completed filming for In the Long Run, a Sky One comedy created by Idris Elba, set to be broadcast in 2018. Bella Emberg played the role when she was 34 years old. Sadly, Emberg's housemate found her collapsed at their home in London's Rains Park on the 12th January 2018, aged 80. Paramedics were unable to resuscitate her, and she was found to have died from alcohol toxicity. Number 9. Nicholas Parsons if it hadn't been for a BBC talent scout, Nicholas Parsons might have continued his engineering studies and never become a successful comedian, actor, and TV quiz show host. Starting his acting career in the 1940s with minor roles in West End stage productions, Parsons later transitioned to film and television. In 1957, he became a cast member on the popular sketch comedy series The Arthur Haynes Show playing the straight man to Haynes's eccentric characters. His ability to maintain composure in absurd and humorous situations garnered widespread acclaim, leading him to join the iconic British comedy series The Benny Hill Show. Parsons achieved significant recognition in 1971 when he took on the hosting role for the widely popular quiz series Sale of the Century. The show allowed contestants to purchase gifts along with earning cash prizes for each correct answer. Following his departure from Sale of the Century in 1983, Parsons became a regular guest on game shows like Punchlines and You Bet, where celebrities placed bets on challenges performed by the public. In 1994, he found success as the host of the TV adaptation of the BBC Radio 4 series, Just a Minute a game where participants had one minute to speak on a subject without stopping or changing topics. Additionally, Parsons holds the honorary position of Chairman of the International Quizzing Association and has been elected Rector of the University of St. Andrews. A lifelong liberal, having supported the Liberal Party and the Liberal Democrats, Parsons was invited to stand as a Liberal Party candidate for Yeovil in the 1970s but he turned down the opportunity in order to remain in the entertainment industry. On October 17, 2013, a week after his 90th birthday, he appeared as a guest on the BBC One political discussion show This Week. He also held the Guinness World Record for the longest after-dinner speech, 11 hours for charity, until it was reclaimed by former holder Giles Brandreth. Nicholas Parsons played the role when he was 46 years old. Sadly, after a brief illness, 
Parsons died on 28 January 2020, aged 96. As we reflect on the incredible journey of the Benny Hill Show cast from 1969 to 1989, witnessing their growth and transformations, it's evident that the bond forged during those years has left an enduring legacy. From thrilling highway pursuits to heartwarming moments, these actors brought the California Highway Patrol to life. Their stories continue to resonate with fans around the world. As we explore their then and now, we celebrate the enduring impact of The Benny Hill Show. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic trip down the California highways with the remarkable Benny Hill Show of yesteryear.